All this week we have been featuring the art of Stephen Wiltshire in our series, An Early Beautiful Memory. He was diagnosed with autism at age three, did not speak until he was five, but today he is known worldwide for the beautiful panoramas he creates from memory. Over the weekend, Stephen began working on a 20-foot cityscape of New York. He is just about finished. He's nearing completion anyway. And CBS's Michelle Geelan is at the Pratt Institute in Brooklyn, where Stephen is working this morning. Good morning, Michelle. Good morning, Harry. He's put a lot of hard work into it, and boy, has it paid off. He started all the way up here at the George Washington Bridge and then continued down through Manhattan, New Jersey, the Financial District, and he's heading over to Brooklyn now. The detail is really the amazing part because, as you know, it's all from memory. So let's take a look at some comparison shots to some still photos of Manhattan. First, take a look at Midtown. And as you can see, the detail is absolutely incredible. Now the financial district. And the, the comparison shot, the, the buildings, the skyline. And then let's take a look at Liberty Island. All of this was from a 20-minute helicopter ride. He just took a look at it and then could put it down on paper. So let's talk to Stephen now. Good morning. Hi, good morning. Your work is incredible. Tell us, what's your favorite part of New York to, to uh, draw? The Manhattan. Um, uh, Manhattan is uh, um, my, my favorite. They've got um, lots of uh, skyscrapers and the big, tall, uh, the tallest um, and the avenues and they're very huge. They've Great. got so lots of um, yellow New York taxi cabs. Lots of taxi cabs. Stephen, thank and you so much. Also, we can. And Stephen uh, also told us, Harry, that his, he's been listening to his iPod, and he said that the music that gets him through all of this was Outcast. Back to you. Outcast. All right. Michelle, thank you.